Welcome to the long-awaited release of Forsaken Sanctum 1.0, the web game. Um, I'm releasing the source and making these videos about the game and how I wrote the game uh, so you guys can actually take the game and make it your own, add to it, and use all the code and everything. And Instead of just releasing the source, I wanted to make videos so those that are not uh, well-versed in PHP and stuff can actually go through these videos and, and learn exactly what I did and really speed up the development time because I worked I worked really hard on Forsaken Sanctum and it was really the first game that I released into a beta and got up and running the first PHP game, uh, basically a web game, and uh, it is from year you know it's two years old maybe more. Uh, the coding in it is is pretty basic. I mean it's a fun game and I'll go ahead and jump to it real quick. I mean it's just basically a you can move around and you can actually build buildings players can build buildings the more they build the bigger the cities get you can go to new locations it's got a huge map system you can you can uh, PvP you got your weapons your armor you got a skill system you got a mine system a crafting system you got a lot of different things in here and uh, there's a lot that can be there's a lot of this code that can be taken and really fixed up and put towards um, a lot of time and, the, and and really make a really really nice game a really fun game and I hope to see a lot of those uh, a lot of those come out, and with saying that, I do want to say that you know we put I'm putting these games out for free, putting these videos out for free. Um, the only thing that I ask is that you swing by Indie Resource, say hey, say what you're using the code for, or whatever else. Um, we don't, you know, if we don't take money for anything, so if you if you end up using the code and you feel like donating, there is a donate button on the front page. Um, just also the other thing is these things are going up on YouTube but I don't answer many messages from YouTube there's just too many my last videos have gotten well over a hundred thousand views together and there's just no way I can answer all the questions so if you have questions don't send me an email in YouTube or anywhere else send, go to Indie Resource I have a section down here at Forsaken Sanctum 1.0 you can ask all the questions there um, post your comments whatever you want do it here because if we have other developers in the community that can help if I can't get to it or, or that already know answers to things. Um, also, if you haven't watched any of my other tutorials, you need to watch the browser MMO tutorial. It starts from the very basics and teaches you all the way up. I'm still going with those tutorials. It's an ongoing thing. I'm going to start on those next. I've also released Urban Realms, which is another game that was kind of unfinished that you can take and use the code out of that. And if you mix these two, you could really, you know, make something really fantastic. But um, this Forsaken Sanctum 1.0 doesn't really use any JavaScript or anything like that. It's for the, the PHPers out there. It's perfect because that's about all it uses. It's a pretty simple game, um, but it's fun. We had maybe three or four hundred players all together on it playing, and it, it really worked out well. I just moved on to 2.0, and that's something I'm also going to release. But um, so make sure you ask all your questions here. Don't message me with a with a question about coding. Put it down here so other people can learn from it, and it'll really help everybody out. Um, the other thing is I'm going to be using this time I've been using Dreamweaver and I'm just kind of thanks to Jack for giving us this link but Code Lobster is a really cool PHP code program I'm using it in the videos these guys that that, uh, that are part of this team or created this are really cool they let us use it in this um, so you can just go to codelobster.com and download it it's free and it has a uh, it has the the auto create and everything like that so it's it's really a uh, a neat program um, to kind of get started, you're going to be downloading the the, the database and the source. Uh, if you don't know how to import the database, you probably want to watch my first videos, but I'm going to run through it, and I th I th I'm pretty sure I'll run through it in some later videos. But um, basically, just create your database, whatever you want to create it. I've just called it Forsaken Sanctum 1. All you do is create it. Then you just go to Import, and then you'll just go to Browse, and then you'll import that uh, Forsaken Sanctum.sql in here and it'll automatically build everything for you everything will be filled I even filled it up with some some materials in there and some other things so you guys can get the idea how it's working and as I go through the videos you'll see that too um, looking at the file system we uh, I need you guys to make sure you read this right here uh, because basically this is the license agreement that you guys are if you're gonna use this code you're gonna have to follow this um, and I just wanna go through it real quick Make sure that uh, you can use these scripts, free commercial game, however you want to. You just cannot use the Forsaken Sanctum name or the logos um, or the picks or anything because some of the picks, you know, I either purchased or something like that. And I just, it's just easier if you guys don't use them. Make sure not to use the name or the logo. Um, 
if you do use any of this game, just do us a favor and throw in a link for IndieResource.com somewhere, or at least just say that some of these scripts are found from here. That kind of helps us out. I don't expect you to put a big old fat logo or anything like that. Nothing like that. I mean, you can put it in small print somewhere. Um, don't change any. You can change any of the files you want, and we and I don't expect you guys to share any of that information. You can do anything you want with this. I don't want to hinder you in any way. Just don't change this. Um, this uh, license agreement text and if you're going to give out the code you have to include this license text in it um, but just read through this for me and make sure you uh, understand all that before you use it but I don't want to hinder anybody in anything they do with this all I'm asking is that you put some kind of link that, that you got it from us and you get it for free and we're not charging for any of this stuff um, to kind of go through the the file system here this file system could easily be cut down to, to much much fewer files um, either way it works pretty good but you have um, your build building your buildings and when you want to add new buildings it's it's real easy just to kind of copy and and paste a you know a new like armor forge kind of copy everything that's armor forge go in and change it and so you can actually add new buildings and stuff like that you have your combat uh, your crafting your guilds comes the guild system of course all the images that's in it and locations which is going to be our first file we're going to go over map.php and then our stores which is quite a few so there's a lot of files to go over don't get overwhelmed by this because it is it is a really simple system a lot of this stuff can be brought into one and it the, the game and the code overall is quite simple so um, I guess we'll just get started